I hope you had a great week. It's Friday again and I'm tired. I don't know if you can see it, but today I'm tired. And when I'm tired, we have um, what we call upside down days at my house for those days when mommy is tired and can't make a three course meal. So that's what I'm doing tonight for dinner. That's what we're cooking. Come join me. But I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole. This one is not that vegan friendly. No, it's not vegan friendly at all because um, I haven't found eggs that will like, you know, work really good with this recipe. But hey, if you can find that for me, let me know, hit me up in the chat room or whatever and tell me how it goes. So the ingredients are, I'm using the cinnamon rolls, the, fro the frozen ones. Um, if you don't have this, I, like I told you before, I'm all about shortcuts. If you don't have this, get, get bread any kind of bread you like, tear it in pieces and soak it in milk for an hour or less until like the milk soaks into the bread and then you can use it that way. We're gonna use this, we can use some cheese if this is gonna be milk and cheese is gonna be too much for you if you're lactose intolerant. You can use vegan cheese, that will work for sure. And um, eggs, this part, I don't know what you will substitute it for with because it's one of the main ingredients in this recipe and then my spices are going to be pumpkin spice it's fall y'all we gotta use some pumpkin spice or if you um you don't have pumpkin spice for my friends who don't have pump pumpkin spice you can use tea masala all the main ingredients are the same as in pumpkin spice the only difference this one has some black pepper in it and um, that, but the rest is good, the same, same thing. I'm gonna use some garlic and some onion powder. This is onion, garlic, onion powder and lemon pepper. That's it. Very simple. You probably already have all these things in your, um, in your fridge. All right, let's go. We're gonna start off with breaking some eggs. I'm gonna use six eggs for this recipe. If you wanna do, like for this one, I usually use six eggs. If you want to do two, uh, add more eggs, whatever. But that's, that, uh, that works for me. So we break the eggs, six eggs. And then I add some milk, just a little bit. Yeah, I eyeball everything, but you can use half a cup if you want to measure. And then I add my spices. Just a little bit of tea masala. It smells so good. Mm. A little bit of onion powder. And a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of lemon pepper. And then I mix it up all together. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, I forgot salt. You don't wanna forget salt. And if you don't have um, uh, tea masala or pumpkin spice, but you have cinnamon uh, and ginger powder and nutmeg and uh, what else? Nutmeg and cloves and con uh, cardons. Cardons. <laughs> I can never say that word. You can mix it up in here. It's the, it's the same thing that's in um, tea masala or pumpkin spice. You can just mix it up by yourself and um, you can add whatever you want. Make it your own. Put a little bit of cheese or you can skip cheese. Not a biggie. My kids love cheese. 
even though most of them are intolerant, but they love cheese. So I'll put a little bit of cheese. And then after you have everything mixed up really good here, you open this. Who likes hearing the popping sound? I like hearing it if I'm the one popping it. If someone else is popping it, mm -mm. no ma'am. Reminds me of bullets. <laughs> See what I told you about? Um, so what I do with these, yeah, if you're gonna use the ones that have cinnamon in them, these ones have cinnamon in them and you're gonna do it yourself, um, you can reduce, don't put so much cinnamon, then it'll be too cinnamony. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. So I, I, you can use your hands, break them in small pieces. I hope you turned on your oven because this is gonna be baked in the oven. Put it at 350. Now I got all my, my small pieces done. I cut them up. I'm gonna pour it, well, put them in here mix everything together mix 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 make sure everything is coated nicely this is a complete meal you don't have to do anything just like to make a little salad on the side so they have their vegetable so there's a protein a carbohydrate and in the salad and a fruit on the side when it's all ready and it's a meal that I didn't have to struggle so much to make. <laughs> so I oiled um, my, my pan before I did, um, I didn't show you, just a little bit of butter, uh, butter spray or canola or olive, whatever you like. So it's all evened out nicely in here. I'm gonna put it in the oven for about, eh, give or take, I don't know, 20 minutes or less or 30, I don't know. Um, you can always tell when something is ready. If you can't tell, get a knife or a toothpick, put it through. If it comes out all clean, you know it's ready and it's golden on the top, you'll know it's ready. All right, we're gonna wait for it to be done. I'll come back and show you the outcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> please subscribe and share with your friends and give me ideas of what you want to see me cook. Thank you, we'll be right back with the complete thing. It's ready guys, it smells good. I hope you can smell it from there. <laughs> I wish you can smell it from there, but it's ready and it's yummy and it's filling and it is nu kind of nutritious. It's a comfort food, but it's nutritious. You could say that. And um, it's savory if you want to make it super sweet you can add you can put your maple syrup on top my kids like it with maple syrup 
um, I do eat it with ranch because everything goes with ranch. What doesn't go with ranch? And some hot sauce. This is Randy's hot sauce. It's called Udwiza. It's, I just discovered this one last time I was home, but it's yummy. Very yummy. It comes next to Savannah, but I like it better right now. Come on. There you go. I mix it with ranch. Mm -hmm. it's good thank you for watching please subscribe don't forget forget to sprinkle it with love when you're serving it and have a great weekend go be great and stay grateful